Thrunite TN35. This is the next in the series, kind of a follow-on video to my other Thrunite TN series lights. Get rid of the case for the moment here. I'll come back to that. If you've been playing along at home, you will know that they had the TN30, which was kind of dubbed the Flood King. They then came out with the TN31 and ramped it up to the TN32, which was kind of dubbed the Throw King. And then people said, hey, can we have kind of a little of each of those in one light? And they came out with the TN35, which is kind of the floody thrower king, the, the flower king, the whatever. Anyway, but um, line these up just so you can see the size here. So kind of the next in the series of those lights. As you can see, the TN30 is kind of the, I'm not going to call it the most pocketable of them because that's, they're all big lights. But the TN31, 32, and 35, not sure where the 33 and 34 went, but the 35 and 2 and 1 are all the same size. Different weights, different throws, different everything, but otherwise, exact same size if you're wondering about that. Something to note, there is nothing to keep them from rolling, no anti-roll mechanism. And with that, we'll go ahead and get these other two lights out of the way. The case, standard through night cases for uh, these more recent lights, kind of this lunchbox style. Open it up on the inside. Instruction manual. The kind of the, the belt case. All this is going to be very familiar if you have been uh, following the other videos. But same belt case, both the Velcro and the snap closure there for a little extra security. And then on the inside, you also get a lanyard and some extra O-rings and a tail cap. Just to know the difference in these three lights, I'll throw the stats up on the board, but essentially the TN30 is the lightest, the brightest as far as lumens, and the least throwing, most floody. The TN32 is the heaviest, the dimmest, well, 1700 lumens dim, and the farthest throwing, and the TN35 is the medium weight, medium throw, and medium brightness. So kind of, again, kind of a combination of all these two into a, a nice light. Price on this, $179, which is about in line with all of their other TN series lights. Uses for it, great for military, great for law enforcement, great for anyone that needs to look around your land, your property, look through the woods, camping. It's a big light to carry camping or wherever you're going, but it is super bright and useful for a lot of things. And I'll take you outside and show you some beam shots in a little bit. Looking at the light, if you've been looking at the other ones, this is all gonna be kind of old hat. On the back here, there are six holes for the lanyards. The tail cap, soft rubber tail cap. It is a forward click design, so you can half press it to get a momentary on, and then full press it and you can get the uh, full on. So half press. Full press, click, stays on. Moving forward, the body here, you can take it off, open it from either the back or up in front here, and I'll show you the inside. There are the O-rings in back and in front here. The battery, it does use three 18650 batteries. The batteries go in here, and you can see they're marked plus and minus. And then one of the nice things that this light has is it has sort of this polarity protection such that you can't, you can put in the batteries either way, it doesn't matter. Put those in there and back together. Moving forward, something they've changed here and I appreciate that they've put this back the way it was. One of the things I commented on in my TN32 video was that the sort of the control ring here where there's the, the ramp was this polished, mirrored, dark kind of finish. And I didn't like that as much because I didn't think you could see this ramp and stuff as well with that. I appreciate that on this, they've gone back to the black. I think it's just overall easier to see, easier to read. Depending on the light that you're in that black, you're generally not gonna have any problems. So I like that they've gone back to that. Forward of that is the control ring and that's how you control the brightness. There's an arrow here that matches up, starts down at the bottom here, and we'll ramp, I'll put up the brightnesses on the screen here. We'll ramp all the way up, and then it goes into the standby here. 
From the standby, you can go to the left for full brightness and to the right for the strobe. When it's in standby, if, if it's clicked on in the standby, there will be a little battery drain. So note that I wouldn't store it with it on and in standby because there'll be a little bit of drain. The purpose of standby, again, you can get one click, one turn over to the full brightness that way and one click over that way to the strobe. So if you need easy access, that's where you would put it. And then I would again, click it back off. Moving forward, the heat sink, the head, crenellated bezel, such that if it's on, you can see it with the bezel. And then up into the head here, glass is anti-reflective coated on both sides. And here's something interesting. It's got a new, new emitter rather, the Cree, X-Lamp MTG2, and I'll zoom in on it here. And you can see there, it's a very big, size-wise, comparison-wise, it is a big, big LED. And just to show you in comparison, and there's the TM32, little baby thing compared to the big Mongo X-Lamp. The depth of the heads otherwise is pretty, looks like it's pretty much the same. I mean, the heads are the same size. So I think the reflector is the same polished, deep, smooth reflector on both of them. But that X-Lamp emitter is, it's, big, it's, a, it's a big thing. It's almost like a little, little honeycomb, a beehive down in there. But anyway, um, great light, lots of flood, lots of throw. We'll take it outside and have a look at it. Now right, we're gonna do a little comparison here between the TN30, the 32, and the 35. I'm gonna do them just all at full brightness to give you an idea of the beams. So starting with the TN30, and you can see this is a very big, wide beam, so much that you can't even see the edges of the of the spill. Down in front here, pretty wide beam there. All right, moving on to the TN32. You can see here the drastic difference between that wide beam and that very focused beam. Out in front here, yeah, it's a very, very focused beam. You can see there, it's like a spotlight. And lastly, here is the TN35. So you can see pretty there's a decent hot spot there, but quite a bit of spill along the outside. Looking at it here, definitely a, not as focused of a beam as the TN32 was. But it lights up that clump of trees very nicely, just panning around a little bit. There we are up close, my normal 20 feet, 40 feet down to about uh, 40, 50 yards. And you can see it lights up that whole clump. Whereas if you check out the TN32 video, I think it's much more focused. And then on down, lots of throw, lots of spill, lots of brightness. There you have it, the Thrunite TN35. If you need to light with lots of throw, lots of brightness, this is a great light for its intended purpose. Check this one out from Thrunite.